All right, let's see if we can just uh, pick this thing open now with uh, this pick or a tensioner. And there's the key working. And as you can see, let's try and get it out now. And then try the smaller end. Try to squeeze it in there. Right, so that like that, let's get a, get a pick, and I'm just going to use a, just a hook and go around, so one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing, and skip that one because that one's binding. Not binding, I mean. Okay, that one was one, two, three, four, five. That was number five. Okay, number six. Oh, okay. <laughs> we uh, just picked it one position, which is kind of pathetic. I only really felt two pins sit there, so I've already got it. One, two, this one, this one, this one. Man, that is com completely ridiculously easy. Let's pick it back. That one. I'll start there. That one. That one. You literally just have to touch these. And they're that easy to pick. Binding order on these pins. Or the springs anyway, they're so weak. Okay, so I picked it back one position and just pick at the other positions. So just got to touch all of these. There are no serrated or spools or anything on these. Tolerances seem pretty rubbish. So I'm pretty surprised how easy this is to, to SPP. Almost as quick as just using the impressioning tool. But uh, yeah, these guys, this lock isn't uh, as rubbish as that other older one that's literally made out of junk. But it's still easy enough to. It's still it's, it's better quality material, but not a great lock nonetheless. Okay. Well, this one that pin that pin that pin that pin there you go so now it's locked again <sighs> what a joke uh, okay so don't rely on this lock anyway to be more than just a secondary lock I hope you learned something from that Cheers.